Hey everyone, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Super Fino channel where we are reviewing the game Moss Destruction, developed by Shotgun with Glitters. <laughs> Moss Destruction is a rogue light game where we have two weapons to defeat our enemies. One is a gun and the other one is a razor melee where we're just cutting down our enemies. We are a moss species and we're, the, we're trying to fight against these alien monsters along with robots. The goal of the game is to clear the level. To play the game, we can either use our keyboard and mouse or a controller. For the keyboard, we have our typical buttons for our commands, you know, going up and down, shooting, changing weapons, holding our cartridges, which are these type of items that we pick up along the game, and so on and so forth. And with our mouse, we can shoot, switch weapons, and change it to our melee weapon and as you can tell I don't really care for using the keyboard and mouse. <laughs> you can change the layout of your commands, buttons and such but you can just use the controller which is my favorite, my favorite. <laughs> now we can pick where we want to fight but when we're first playing we can only play at a certain area. This is our hero, a devoted young Mossarian hero with the willingness to act on his people's behalf. Mossas operates the fairly balanced all-rounder the chicken. One of the other heroes I was able to obtain through the shop was the Don Grand Moss. The Don means serious business, not a moss of tactics. But his bulky, heavy big mech can surely take the beating. Speaking of mechs, we can also modify our mech by buying things. But we need to use this green crystal as our currency, which we obtain throughout the game. So when we're first playing, it is going to give us a type of tutorial, like letting us know where things are, what to keep an eye on. We're going to have a rank area, and that's going to let us know how many ranks we went up, and we can only go up two per level. And then it's going to show us our weapons, and we can only carry two guns at a time, and we have different ammos. Now, each ammo can only go with certain weapons. So if you don't have that weapon, you can't use that ammo. Scattered throughout the level, there are going to be these portals leading us to the shop. At the shop, we can get some heroes, armor, boosts, etc, etc. I've only actually shopped in there once because we need to purchase these with our green crystals, the currency, and they're not easy to come by throughout the levels. <laughs> Speaking of boosts, Every time we rank, we'll be able to get a boost, and we won't untame that until after we complete the level. It's not going to be the same options every time. It's going to be different, and we won't know until we get there. Some of these are super beneficial. Some of these are like, eh, I don't know if I really want them, but it's going to be helpful throughout the game. For example, I did use this Roto Node, which is a type of circular, spherical, familiar that orbits around my character. And what it does is, whenever it gets in contact with the laser, it deflects it. It was really helpful because a lot of the enemies are these robots that shoot out laser beams. So whenever the orb went around my character, if it was in line with the laser beam, it'll deflect it, protecting my character. And this can lead to gameplay. So to play the game, we are trying to clear out the level or get to a portal as fast as we can. But we want to level up in that level because we can only rank up twice per level. The way I like to play this game is I like to kind of figure out where the enemies are first. And we can't see where they are because it's covered with this white shadow mist type of thing and it won't clear out until we explore that area. So I like to explore a little bit and then when I see an enemy that shoots out laser beams, I like to shoot first and then back away, pedal back. Because the laser beams are not that fast so you can kind of dodge them. Which is great because I get hit pretty easily. 
So once I figured out that I can back away and the laser beams won't reach me, I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this. I can really play this game. Once we defeat these enemies, they do leave drops. So these drops can either be ammo, health, currency, and sometimes these weird little orb thingies. Now these orb things are over here. We can carry two at a time. Now these orb spherical things, we don't know what they are until we use them. Sometimes they're beneficial, sometimes they're disadvantage for us. Like one time I used one and it said storage malfunction and it totally took out that cartridge. I was like, what? Why would you put this in the game? Why? And some of them, you don't know how it works until you actually use it. Like there was one that was called Wormify, I think it was called. I used it and I was like, does it shoot out worms? It didn't. I used it again with enemies around me and what it did is it changed all of my enemies into these worm creatures and I used my melee and just sliced them down. Speaking of the melee, I like to use it when there's a enemy that doesn't shoot out laser beams like the ones that like hit me and the way I like to use the melee weapon is I like to move and then go Zing! as I go I find that it's more effective than just standing there and be like zoom zoom it's most effective for me when I'm moving and then I use it during that same time I must point out in this game, there's no saving point. At least I didn't discover it and I went up to level four. Once you die, you go back to level one and you gotta do everything all over again. At first, this was a little frustrating for me, but I got used to it. And it was okay for me because I kept all of my currency. Now, when that first happened to me, I thought I lost everything. I was like, what? I got all that? How am I supposed to get to 20 green crystals and buy armor? But later on, I learned that I still had my green crystals and I was able to buy that hero. And I was like, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> the challenge of this game is to actually go through all the levels without dying. Let's recap of this game. Moss Destruction is a roguelike game where we as players want to clear out the level while ranking up two times. And after we clear out the level, we want to pick out an item that helps boosts us, makes it more beneficial throughout the game. As we're clearing out the level, we can pick up items. Some of these items are going to be this weird, spherical thing that can be beneficial or disadvantage, but we won't find out until we actually use it. Once we die, we go back all the way to the first level, but we keep all of our currency, which lets us buy things like armor, heroes, boots. And that was our super fina review for the game Moss Destruction, developed by Shotgun with Glares. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and opt for future notifications on uploads and streams. We also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10.30 p.m. Hawaii time and Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Hawaii time. My name is Lehua and this was a Superfina review of Moss Destruction developed by Shotgun with glares. Hope you guys like this and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!